In this video, we're going to go over a few ways to use Lucid for graphing and plotting in the classroom. This first one is an example of our line graph template. You'll notice that if you come in, you're not seeing the grid in the background. Come up to view grid and then you can show or unselect to unshow the grid. If your grid is too small, you go into File, Page Settings, and if you scroll down to the Grid Options, you can change the sizing of your grid. For this template, it is a 0.5 grid size. You can easily come in and double click and you can add your titles and your numbers. And when your students are ready, they just click and drag out their dots and they start creating their line graph. In order to connect these, all they have to do is click on it, select the red dot, and then drag to the next item. You'll notice up here that you can set the width of your line. You can change the endpoints and the look of your line. And then you can easily move your line around to make that nice connection. To set those line permissions up before you get started, click on the canvas, put on how thick you want your lines, the look of your lines, and remove that endpoint. Now it will autofill that for me as I'm connecting my lines. This next example is an example of a bar graph template. In this one, all you need to do is double click inside and add your titles and numbers. And then you can easily click on each of the starter bars and then just click and drag up to set your bar graph. For this picture graph or click and drag graph, again, change your titles, edit your numbers as needed, and then your students can either click and drag out the squares or you can use the search icon to put specific images for a picture sort. So for example, if this was a graph um, about the results of students' favorite animals, I could say cat, click on the icons tab, and then I could drag out the cat. And then you can put several cats on here. And a little trick, if you highlight all of your cats, go to Arrange, Align Objects Left, Arrange, Align Objects Top. Now when the students come in, they can click and drag out cats. And then you could do your next image and they can complete their picture graph. And finally, for plotting, in this one you already have your plot set up and then the students can easily click and drag out the dots onto their plot. 